Portland's City Council will hear from the public about a proposal to change the city's emergency wage ordinance. It's a citizen-led initiative called Keep It Local. Two childcare business owners are leading the effort. They say they can't afford the current hazard pay requirements when a civil state of emergency is called at the state level. It, excuse me, when a civil state of emergency is activated. Uh, a local ordinance in Portland is requiring all business in the city to bump up their minimum wage from $15 an hour to $22.50. Tamara Gallagher says when this happened after storms this winter, Portland was in better shape than much of the state, but businesses like hers still had to find ways to fund hazard pay. Gallagher says the goal is to amend the ordinance to allow Portland to consider hazard pay on a case-by-case -case basis instead of following the state declaration. So if there is a true emergency in Portland, that's one thing. But if it is just a statewide state of emergency that doesn't affect Portland, that's not fair to institute a hazard pay across the board for all these small businesses. They could have offered alternatives other than a proposal that's basically going to gut it. There's only a proposal to exempt all businesses. That includes, you know, Amazon, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, Hannaford. The main Democratic Socialists pushed for the emergency pay ordinance, and now the group is fighting this amendment, arguing it will mostly benefit big corporations. The city council will vote on the amendment after a public hearing in August. If they approve the measure, it will then go to voters in November.